Hey all, we're in for a quick vid. Since I have these sonar panels that I just finished installing the other night, I'm gonna go ahead and test the voltages that are coming in. So right now I have the van parked outside in the sunlight. It's about 5 p.m. so it's not gonna be full power, but it's enough to make sure the panels are working as they should since they're connected in series. So just for a quick check, bring the camera down here, touch the wires, show you the voltages, and we're off. Okay, what we have here are the two 250 watt panels. And what we're looking for is because they're wired in series, it sh the specs say it should pump out about 48 volts max in series since each panel is 24 volt max. And so when you wire them in series, the voltages add. So you should see 48 volts. And usually panels are underrated, so you could see more voltage than what it's specced out at. So I'm just looking for something close. We got one in, another one oh, needs to be on DC. All right, there we go. So we got about 50. 50.2 volts, which is awesome because I'm looking for 48 volts max, and so it's going over the 48 volts. So that string of the 250 watt panels are working as they should. So now I'm going to bring over the uh, 250 watt panels, which is 100 watt. So those are spec'd at 19 volts each panel. So I'm expecting. 38 volts in series since you add the 19 plus 19 just tape these back up so you don't get shocked so just that aside and here are the two wires from the 250 watt panels and like i said i'm looking for 19 plus 19 38 volts is what the specs say so 38 volts or more i'll be happy if i can get this to stay here we go 40.78 volts on the 250 watt string of panels wired in series so 19 plus 19 38 and we're looking at 40 point oh lost my connection 40.73 ish, 74. So we're in the money. So both sets of panels are working as they should. So once we get the electrical in there, we should be good to go for the solar power. All right. See you guys.